Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. And yesterday, something that made its rounds on the internet and in some of the private groups that I chat in, like uh, the John Otis Hollywood private training group on Facebook. And there were some heated debates because of something that Dana Lynn Bailey said, who all of you know who she is. Now, when I make videos like this discussing these things, so one of the things that people always bring up, they go, Jason, oh, you're just such a hater. You call people out without ever considering the fact that maybe sometimes when I do something like this, I actually have a large number of people's best interest in mind and I actually want to help people. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm not trying to be a hater. I actually want to help people because these things are real problems in our community. And in this case, I actually happen to be a Dana Lynn Bailey fan, believe it or not. And Dana Lynn Bailey said in her ex explanation of why she is natural. Yeah. Oh. Dana, your voice. Have you not listened to your voice? I've been in this game a long time. I've been around the training world, fitness world, powerlifting world, bodybuilding world for a couple decades now. I'm an old motherfucker. And I've known a lot of women over the years who've tried various drugs. And actually, I had a friend of mine who got a really, really raspy voice about eight weeks after she tried Equipoise, which is originally a, a racehorse steroid. And she used it at a very low dose, and she got a really, really raspy voice. Now, I'm not saying that that is what Dana took, but I have noticed that Dana has a pretty raspy voice. It's just kind of funny that she mentioned the voice thing. And maybe it's just coincidence that this particular photo has circulated the internet this year. But that aside, why is this an issue? People would say, well, who cares? Who cares? Obviously, if or if she didn't use anything, Dana is not going to say anything because she has a lot of sponsorship involved. She has a reputation, she has money. A lot of these drugs are illegal in the U.S. She could get into legal trouble. She could lose her sponsorships, everything else. That's absolutely true, and that is a damn good reason for someone to keep their mouth shut, particularly if they live in the U.S. or they are sponsored by the whole bullshit supplement industry, which are a bunch of fucking con artists anyways. But... If they want to keep that money, yeah, they got to keep their mouth shut. However, it becomes a problem when people start claiming natural for the reason of, again... Now, a lot of us who are very, very serious trainers, we look at Dana and go, wow, she looks fantastic. She has busted her ass. She looks amazing. But do you think that's what the average woman on the street thinks when they see her? One of the biggest problems we have in the entire fitness world is the myth that women are going to look like that if they lift weights. Women are terrified of weights. And so when we have someone who looks like Dana, who might look fantastic from our standards in the, the fitness world, to the average woman, they see that and they hear, no, I got this way just from training really, really hard with weights and eating a really good diet. And their initial response is to run away from weights, hide from weights and go eat some cheesecake and chocolate right now. And that is something that has to be considered here. That's the real issue when you have women who look like Dana because it gives women the idea that this is what happens if you lift weights. It scares the shit out of them. And women not weightlifting is a massive public health concern. When we have all these issues, it can be cured for the most part or greatly reduced by weightlifting. Everything from diabetes, cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, various types of cancer, all these problems that plague women don't happen at any appreciable rate if they just lift weights for 20 years. So this sort of information and statement is actually harmful to the vast majority of women who might actually want to get into fitness and it allows these myths to perpetuate and it's a problem. Now what I would recommend to Dana instead if you don't want to actually cause harm to people avoid the question. This is a case on Facebook. Nobody forced you to answer that. This is not an interview where you've been cornered in a big interview, but unless someone's been cornered in an interview, you don't have to answer. Instead, this whole demonization sounds more like pathology and a psychological issue when someone feels the need to demonize something like this. 
when no person who is knowledgeable actually believes what they're saying. So instead, what I would recommend is, Dana, don't answer the question. Or if you have to, if you get cornered, if you get cornered in an interview and you have to give a statement, you could just use the textbook line that everyone always uses because, again, it takes away the fear of the average woman that this is going to happen to them if they lift weights. And you can just use the code word that has always been used of, I have really, really good genetics. Wink, wink. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh. And I clearly don't have really, really good genetics. <laughs>